Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to uh, FreePCFixDepot.com. My name is Sam. I'm here to show you guys how to install and use using Free Registry Cleaner. Now, this is a very good registry cleaner. Uh, it seems very thorough, and I've been using it for a few years, and I've always had, uh, you know, good experience with it. Um, I always use these for my customers and all my, um, you know, end users. Whenever they have any issues, I start with uh, C Cleaner and then I go on to this thing here next. Um, so let's get started. First, if you go to my website, freepcfixdepot.com, you can find the link here. Uh, it'll say using free registry cl cleaner right here. Go ahead and click on the link. I've already opened the link. It'll take you to here, which is just a link book site. Now, I use this just to make a couple dollars. Uh, you know, if you guys like my site, you can support me this way. But anyways, you can always skip the ad and it'll go to the download site and you can download it from here. So, uh, what you do is just skip the ad and then it'll take you to this download site and you can choose one of these mirrors and download the, download the program. I already have it downloaded here. So, let's go ahead and uh, once you download it, you can save it to your desktop or just run it. But what we'll do is run the file here. and install wizard will come up basically you're just gonna next all the way through destination folder goes to program file program files you know that's fine I just hit next hit next all the way and it's gonna install real quick go ahead and launch it and you're gonna get to this screen right here so um, let's get out of this so once you're here um, you can either purchase this product if you really like it um, you can get the registration code and it'll take you to a site where you can buy it but if you want to use it for free you can just hit skip and you'll just need to hit skip every time you, you run this program and then from here it's just basically three things you just scan it once it finishes scanning you just repair it and you can also save your registry and restore it and go back um, if you have a lot of stuff, I recommend doing a, a backup of the registry first. So you just go to File, Full Backup of the Registry, and just dump it somewhere. I'll put it in my C drive under Downloads as well. I like dump all the, all my stuff. Give it a name. Just call it Backup Reg, and just hit Save. This is if in case you run the scan and something happens, uh, you can go back to your old registry settings. Typically, I mean, I've used this so many times and I've never ever had to go back. It always uh, found, you know, the broken registries and the stuff that I don't need. It will get rid of it. So I never had any problems with this. So once you do that, just go ahead and scan. And like any other thing, um, depending on uh, how big your registry is, how much stuff you have, you know how much software I have tons of stuff on my computer this usually takes a few minutes for me uh, from like five to ten minutes so you just go ahead and let it scan and you can notice in the back here you'll s start seeing this pop uh, all these k keys and values to start populating and then at the end it'll tell you how many problems have been found so um, this may take a while so we'll go ahead and just uh, skip and I'll fast forward here So it just finished. Um, that window that was the progress window was that was scanning. It just disappeared because it finished. Right here it shows 39 problems found, um, and you can see the problem, the registry key, and the value of it. Typically, if you haven't run this ever before and you run it for the first time, this number is going to be really large. Right now it says 39 problems found. It'll probably be in the hundreds for you guys. So, anyways, uh, once you do that you just hit repair so first scan and then repair and it'll just go ahead and repair it close it and then you're finished done easy so uh hope you guys uh found that helpful and that's how you install and use uh using free registry cleaner thanks for watching guys uh leave any comments or questions or email me i'll be happy to uh, answer any questions for free thanks